Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bara habita fillah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bless us all with ilm al-nafi Rizqan tayyib wa ilm al-muntaqabbin And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our good and forgive our evil And may Allah bless us with ikhlas With the bada al-sunnah to nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love us and love you Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen Because the mu'min uh, should strive to attain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the goals of the mu'min, to be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you, then there is no other love uh, which is comparable to his subhanahu wa ta'ala ta love. Uh, and that means he is pleased with you, tabarak wa ta'ala. And this is the path, path of your success. Fi dunya wal akhirah in this life, as well as the hereafter. And so I wanted to read something very short, bi'idnillah, uh, and concise from our Shaykh Saleh Asindi, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, one of the mashayikh and professors at the Islamic University in Medina. Uh, and he was speaking in his book about the love of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, about the characteristic, this divine characteristic that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala uh, possesses of love of you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, this is one of his his uh, divine uh, sifat the muhabba of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so the shaykh was mentioning the <clears throat> position of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah with regards to muhabbatillah the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said laqad توترت أدلة الشرعية وأجمع السلف قاطبة على أن الله عز وجل متصف بصفة المحبة فهو يحب كما أنه يحب جل وعلا. He said that the Sharia evidence is uh, plentiful and that it is in accordance with the consensus of the Salaf that Allah the Almighty uh, possesses the characteristic of love, muhabba, that this is one of his, uh, his divine characteristics, and that he loves and that he uh, is loved, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he said, وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى مُتَسِفْ بِسِفَةَ الْبُغْضِ And that also Allah the Almighty possesses the characteristic of anger or wrath. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Wa hadihi al muhabba, wa hadhi al bult, sifatan, haqiqatan, talaki, wa talakan, bila, subhanahu, la tishabahan, sifat al makhlukin, kama kala allahu ta'ala, laysa kamithlihi shayun, wa huwa sami'u basir. He said, and these two characteristics, the, sif the characteristic of love, and uh, anger are two real characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are, they are haqiqi. And he said that, that they, uh, in reality, are real characteristics of Allah, the glorified and exalted. And he said, and they do not resemble the characteristics of his creation. And he said, like Allah the Almighty says, There is nothing that resembles him, and he is the all-hearing and all-seeing. In this ayah, where Allah Taala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's nafi and ithbat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates that there is anything that resembles him. So this is a rudd and a refutation of the uh, of the mushabbih, mushabbihun, yani ahl tashbih, those people who say that Allah is like his creation. And it shows that Ahl sunnah because Ahl sunnah adheres to this ayah and believes in this ayah and speaks with this ayah on their tongue, 
This is a rud on those people who say, for example, Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, which some of the Ashiris, some of the Maturidiyya, some of the ah Jamaat al-Ahbash, because they take basically from the same i'tiqad, they have the same aqidah and creed, and they say that Ahlul Sunnah, for affirming uh, these divine sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they are making a resemblance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But no, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he is al samiyah and al-basir, that he is the all-seeing and the all-hearing. We say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears and sees in a manner that suits his majesty. We don't say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like his creation, but they argue, the people of Bid'ah, they argue and say that Allah subhanahu that the that Ahlus Sunnah, that the Salafis and Ahlus uh, Sunnati wal Jama'ah, that they are making a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation, but rather we say la, we're not doing that, but rather we are affirming what Allah affirms, negating what Allah negates, affirming what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirms, and affirming what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam negates. What are some adilla, some further adilla, as uh, Sheikh Sari Asindi, half of Allah Ta'ala, mentions regarding the sifa, uh, the sifa to muhabba, the characteristic of love that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala possesses. He said, Minha qawluhu ta'ala yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu. That where Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, fi kitabi al-kareem, that he loves them and they love him, showing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. This is the, the point of this ayah of mentioning is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves his creation. He loves the mu'mineen. He loves the mutatahireen. He loves those people who sacrifice and strive for his sake, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He loves the, the ahl iman and, and ahl, the, the, uh, ahl fiqh fi deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them. And what is their characteristic? They love him. And that's what we learn from this ayah in Surah Al-Ma'idah. وَقَوْلُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab Al-Kareem in Surah Al-Ma'idah as well, Verily Allah loves the muhsineen. Those, those, those righteous people. Those people who, the, uh, the, the muhsinun. Those people who uh, are on another level of iman that they're doing righteous deeds and they're avoiding the prohibitions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're adhering to his commandments. The muttaqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the muttaqeen. وَقَوْلُهُ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُتَّقِينَ In Ali Imran. And also, also the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ Verily Allah loves al-muttaqeen. The people of taqwa. Who are, the, who are the people of taqwa, as we just mentioned? They are those who adhere to the commandments of Allah and avoid his prohibitions. وَمِنَ السُنَّةِ قَوْلَهُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ الْمُؤْمِنْ قَوِي الْمُؤْمِنْ الْقَوِي خَيْرٌ مِنْ وَأَحَبَّ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنْ ضَعِيفٌ وَفِي كُلِّ خَيْرٍ The Prophet والسلام, said in a hadith, uh, authentic hadith, uh, the hadith in uh, Sahih Muslim, where he, alayhi salatu wasalam, said, uh, the strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer. Wufi kulli khair. And in all of them is good, meaning all the mu'mineen, they have good. So even if you're a weak uh, uh, mu'min, the fact that you're a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means that you have some khair. Just the fact of your iman, just the fact that you keep on Islam and you try to avoid the nawakhid Islam, those things which uh, negate your Islam, that you have khair, wufi kulli khair. But the strong mu'min uh, is better and more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, showing us that uh, our iman, tafawit, our iman has, has different levels. And ahli iman, Tafawat, mutafawatin, that they have different levels. Ahli Iman has different levels. So those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves from the muhsineen with the muttaqeen and those people who, uh, you know, Allah has blessed with ilm and knowledge and 
and not just blessed with ilm and knowledge, but they practice that ilm and knowledge. They practice it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them. They're close to them. Because this is the talib al ilm, talib al jinnah, as we said. Seeking knowledge is seeking jinnah. The Prophet said, Man yiridallahu bihi khayran. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, yifaqo fideen. He gives him uh, understanding of the religion. The Prophet said, Man. Uh, whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah makes easy for him the path to paradise. Okay? So that shows that those people have a fuddle. Why? Because they strove to seek Islamic knowledge and practice that knowledge. And so Allah makes easier for them, easier makes it easier for them to get to Jannah. Uh, whoever does this, Allah gives him, makes easy for him the path to Jannah. So those are from the characteristics of the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of them. So this all, what is this affirmed for us from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that Allah possesses the sifa of muhabba that he subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Ayyu al muhabba O my beloved ones. And the Shaykh then goes on to mention a difference between some details regarding uh, what uh, you hear, uh, what are mentioned in some ayat, and uh, uh, the difference between al al, al wood and uh, and al khulla. And so he mentions, he says, "Wakad warda aydan." Itisavihi ta'ala bi sifatain huma min maratib al muhabba al wud wa khulla. And he said also what's mentioned in the mentioned about Allah, meaning mentioned about Allah in, 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 in the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because that's how we know about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It isn't that we get knowledge from some marid or some shaykh who says that he has a special relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much so that he doesn't even make uh, ibadah, that he believes that he is uh, so beloved to Allah that he's gone beyond, he's reached a state of what they call al-yaqeen, certainty, to where they no longer need to worship Allah. billah min hadhi kufr wa inhiraf. May Allah protect us from that disbelief and that misguidance. Why? Because the Prophet والسلام, who was the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the most obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the most knowledgeable about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he uh, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made ibadah to Allah until he met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is yaqeen the yaqeen mentioned in that hatta yaqeen uh, until they reach yaqeen that yaqeen refers to death, al-mawt, death. Not that they have reached a, a level of, in their sincerity, that they no longer need to worship Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because then they are making a claim that they're better than the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, or the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, anam ajma'een, wa ghayrihim min ahl al-fadl. So, it lets us know, ahabati fillah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And that the Shaykh mentioned, he said also that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that there's different levels of muhabba. And he said, al-wud wa khulla. Al-wud, he goes on to explain, uh, al-wud, saffu al-muhabba, wa khalisaha, wa lubbaha. That al-wud, or uh, al-wud, and that's why we say, uh, uh, al-wudud, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-wudud. Uh, he is the all forgiving and al wudud, the all loving al wud, which the the uh, the sifa al wudud comes from. This name of Allah subhanahu wa taala. This refers to pure. The most pure love and the most, uh, the, the best way to describe it is the most pure, the most pure love. Okay? And then he says, 
وقد ورد في القرآن الكريم اسمه تعالى الودود مرتين. So الودود is mentioned twice in the Quran. في قوله تعالى إن ربي رحيم رحيم ودود. Uh, verily, my Lord is the most beneficent uh, wudud, and uh, you know this this pure this pure loving uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the, the the pure love here Subhanahu wa Taala wudud that He possesses this characteristic. and also that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says uh, that He is. Al-Ghafur, the off-forgiving, Al-Wudud, the pure, uh, the, 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 the all-loving, or the, 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 you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this khalis love, that there's no, no comparison between him and his creation. There's nothing that resembles him. And he is the all-hearing, he is the all-knowing. This is, these are attributes, these divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are divine and unique because they are his subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation is not like him nor is he like them subhanahu wa ta'ala they are kamil his his his, his attributes are uh, expressed kamal perfection and also then the sheikh also mentioned uh al wood uh, he mentioned this also in another ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, في كتاب الكريم, إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات سيجعل لهم الرحمة, uh, سيجعل لهم رحمان, ودا. Uh, verily, those who believe and do righteous deeds, uh, الرحمان shall prepare for them, or has, uh, has prepared for them ود, this pure uh, love. This is in Surah Al-Maryam. And then, and, and he mentions about the meaning of this. He says, أَيْ يُحِبُّهُمْ وَيُحِبُّهُمْ إِلَىٰ عِبَادِهِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ That he, uh, he loves them uh, and that they, and that, and that he loves for them, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 to to be the the this ibad the, this worship uh, al mu'minin that the the mu'minin that they worship Allah subhanahu wa taala that Allah subhanahu wa taala grants them this ability uh, of of loving the the ibadah that this is the the attribute Allah subhanahu wa taala grants them love for worship this and this, so this is a characteristic of who. Al Mu'minin of the believers, and then the Sheikh mentioned Al Khulla, and he said Al Khulla. This refers to Kamal Muhabba. This is perfect love, perfect love, and this is uh, this characteristic of Khulla. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentioned that He uh, reserved this for His Khalilain. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. And that's why the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ اتَّخَذْنِي خَلِيلًا كَمَا اتَّخَذَ إِبْرَهِيمْ خَلِيلًا That verily Allah has taken me as a as Khalil, as a Khalil. Similar to the way he took Ibrahim as a Khalil. So that shows us a that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses the attribute, the divine attribute of love. And that his love is unlike like our love. And our love is unlike his love, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, has different levels of love. He loves all of the believers, but those who are closest to him and more obedient to him, Allah loves them more. And those who are weaker from amongst us, Allah loves them, but not in the same way. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.